Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com Okay, we are back and it's time to migrate our project to Swift 4. Okay, let's get a recap of what we ended up with last time. So we started by creating a quiz engine project with a macOS target. And why did we do that? To get blazing fast tests. Exactly. And also to make sure we have a platform independent application, right. at least at the core. Mm -hmm. Next, we created our quiz app project that has a dependency on the quiz engine. So that's why we have this arrow pointing inwards. But we had to create an iOS target because that's an iOS application. Exactly. So we end up with a quiz engine project with two targets and our quiz app that points to the iOS target of the quiz engine. And they all leave inside a workspace. Yep, that's pretty much it. So what strategy are we going to have here for migrating this project? We could first migrate the iOS target, then the macOS target, then a quiz app progressively, mm -hmm. step by step. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing a huge migration, if you're working on a large project, you probably want to do things step by step, running our regression tests and make sure everything still works. But there is a bug in the migrator that doesn't allow you to do the iOS target first and then the app. If your app depends on a target that is already migrated, when you're going to update your project, you get an error. You get an error, basically. The, the migration cannot continue. Yeah, a lot of people are having problems with this. So we're going to have a different strategy. Mm -hmm. We're going to migrate first the app, then we migrate the dependencies. Yeah. And of course, this is only going to work on Xcode 9. Yes. So make sure to update your Xcode before trying this. Let's open quizapp.xe workspace. Here it is. This is the quiz app project, and we have the quiz engine as well. And the quiz app depends on the engine, but the engine has no idea the quiz app even exists. First of all, let's run all the tests in the quiz app. I already see some warnings. And test succeeded. Let's have a look at the warnings. Look at that. But let's ignore the quiz engine for now. Let's focus on the quiz app. It already tells us you can convert it to Swift 4. So let's start to migrate this. Since we want to do this in steps, let's do the quiz app first. And that's exactly what we were saying before in the diagram. We leave the dependencies out of this migration right now. All right. Next. So minimize inference. Yep. Uh, if you select the other one, it's going to say that it's going to be a larger binary size. Let's just follow the recommendation. Next. Have a look at the migration guide. There it is. You're going to have some extra steps here. As soon as you complete the migration, you're going to have to build your project, check for warnings, and then you have to manually set the inference to default. In the build setting. And look at that. We have no source changes necessary. So let's just say update. Apparently it's all good. Let's run the tests again. And now we have these extra warnings as described in the migration help. So let's go back to our project view, select the target. Let's check the language. And it's already good okay. for in the tests as well. Now we have to search for the inference setting and we have to set it to default to get rid of those warnings. Let's build this again, run the tests. All passing, good. And the warnings are gone. Now we only have the quiz engine warnings. So let's commit this. Next step, let's migrate the quiz engine. First of all, let's build and run the tests. All good, but a bunch of warnings. Let's again Convert. Let's select the quiz engine and the test. Next. Okay. No changes again. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I still see some warnings though. Yes. Let's have a look at those warnings. Redundant conformance, which means the compiler is smarter okay, now. Okay, it's a little smarter, yeah. Yeah. Can we can help infer us. this conformance, so we don't need this. Let's just remove it. Here it's the same, and it's the same here and here. Let's build again. It also says that we have redundant type constraints in here. We don't need the word closes because, because it can infer exactly. on the previous one here. Great. So we have no more warnings in the code, but we have the same warning we had about the inference. Yep. And this is a step that you have to do manually. So let's select the quiz engine project, target in the build settings. Let's search for the inference setting, set it to default in the tests as well. Now let's make sure it migrated properly so the language is Swift 4, and it is for the quiz engine and the quiz engine tests. Run the tests again. The inference warnings are gone, but we have some new recommended settings for the project. Let's have a look. Yeah, it makes sense. Perform the changes. And there it is. Commit. A great quiz engine to Swift 4. Next, the iOS one. Let's build and run the tests. It's all passing. Again, now with the iOS target. 
Okay. No changes. Good. We then run the test again. No pass. But we have the warning. So make sure the Swift language is 4. They are both 4. And the inference should be default for all of them. And they are. So let's build again to make sure the warning goes away. Tests are passing. No warnings. Clean project. Migration succeeded. That wasn't that hard. No, it was quite easy. Because it's a small project. But for bigger projects, you can have a lot of work to do. So what we recommend is to do things step by step, module by module. And always commit when it's done. Make sure all the warnings are clean and your tests are always passing. Sounds good. Alright, hope you enjoyed this extra episode. We'll see you next time. See you next time.